Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4, Part 79. So, we were supposed to do the Mirage Cup, but there's no cars available for it. Then we were supposed to do the March Brothers, and there's also no cars for this either. So, instead, we're moving on to the Sylvia Sisters. Hey, sister. No. No. I almost did it. I did half of it, that's already shameful enough, but yeah. That was the that was the cringiest thing I've said on this channel by far. Anyways, um we're going to sort by manufacturer, go to Nissan, and I actually have a car for this already. Apparently I bought it and drove it a long time ago, but not in a video, so we're gonna use it now. S15 Spec R one of my favorite JDM cars. And it's going to be a little bit overpowered. Probably so. I will throw on the standard road tires for this. And nothing else. Maybe the competition will be a little bit upgraded, but who knows. So, on to the Sylvia Sisters. That's just such a cringy name, but whatever. Three... Short races, starting it off at Tsukuba for three laps. Okay, so that race was only going to be eight A-spec points, so that means I'm going to have to do this. Max out the ballast weight. Unfortunately, even after putting on those tires, it's still way overpowered, so... Here we go, first race at Tsukuba. And I think I'm going to lower my brightness just a tad... Eh, maybe one more. That'll work. This guy looked kind of washed out. So, woo, yay, here we go. More exciting racing. Except not. I just love the rear end of this thing so much. But it doesn't look right without the spoiler on it. Without the spoiler, it looks kind of ugly, but... It completes it, I... I think. Whenever I bought this, I changed the oil on it. It probably would have been better off without doing it. Get a bit more A-spec points, but oh well. There wasn't a, another one available in the showroom. Very few A spec points, even though there's only one other car that I'm pretty much equal with. With, yes, with. I've noticed that I cannot talk clearly and drive at the same time. My brain just turns the bush and I'm just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Way late on the throttle right there. Pretty much gotta make my move. Like. 
And maybe right now? He's gonna show me off track, isn't he? Yep. Not today. Oh wait, I can't see that. Bad word, no no word, YouTube. I won't make 50 cents off this video anymore. Oh no. And, uh, oh, look at that race over. Woo. Much excitement. So, race number one complete. Blah. 2,000 credits per race, so pretty much nothing. Time for race number two at special stage. Boop, boop. Ping. Well, rip. Emulator slowdowns caused me to lose control of my car, so gotta do this again, yay. At least it was only on lap one. Car looks pretty. Me likey. I'm gonna go in this view temporarily just to speed up the game just a tad. Because otherwise it would run extremely slow, so. Besides, I drive a whole lot better in this view anyways. Now that I think about it, I think I do have the Silady in my garage, which is the Sylvia front end with a S13 hatch rear end. But I already drove a 240SX at the beginning of the LP, and I don't want to use duplicate cars, so here I am in this instead. Very exciting, woo. I'm surprised this S13 is keeping up with me out of all things. I guess that S15 is still stuck in traffic or something, and I can't control this car right now for some reason. What the visity yuck was that? Eh, well, bonk again. I think the extra weight's causing my handling to get 
weird. And I hate hell with my wheel, I cannot keep the car perfectly straight, ever. It's literally impossible. Because it's so sensitive. But there we have it. Out of all things, a 240 kept up with me, which is strange. Oh, that's a spec ass, no wonder. I thought that was a spec R in the field. So, another 2,000 credits. Yippee Kai Gay. And on to the next one. Alright, ending it off here at Fuji Speedway 90s. Woo. Fuji Speedway 90s. Blah. There's that hideous Varietta Sylvia thing. It's like a roadster thing. Convertible. It's ugly either way. I hate it. And pretty much immediately, I'm at the front of the field and gonna start walking away. If I ever do redo this game, then I'm gonna go for an A-spec point run. And I think I might throw in a few other factors in it too, like the win-loss ratio, number of days played, and of course A-spec points. Figure out a way to calculate a score based off of all that. And possibly live stream the entire thing, who knows what I'll be doing by that time, but... Just an idea I'm tossing around. Nothing more than that. So this is very exciting and all. Was a little bit sketchy. Oh my god! Dorifto! Oh, Nani! Dorifto! Nani! Dorifto! Literally every initial dweeb, whenever they see a hint of sliding, or the slightest tire squeal, can't stand it. That's one way to get me to 
or to not like something before I even watch it. Whenever it's just repeated constantly and it's not funny, like, stop. Anyways, daily rant over. Race number three won. I'm bored out of my mind. But yeah. 2,000 credits. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Time for our prize car. Alright, what's it gonna be? Don't have my hopes up. Oh. So this is where I get the silly lady. I thought I already had it. Eh, whatever. Could have sworn I got it from like a license or something, but I guess that's where you get it, so... Yay. Gonna go have a little look-see here. That's not where I sort it. That... What am I doing? There we go. I mean, I like it. And all, but... Yeah. Ain't worth sh though. Go figure. So with that, stay tuned for more Grand Turismo 4.